We are the leaders in global breaking news. You're watching BBC World News with me, Tim Wilcox. Our top stories. Celebrations for Australia's Labour Party. It appears to have won the country's general election. It means this man, Anthony Albanese, is set to form the next government. Scott Morrison is out. We'll be live in Sydney for the latest on what this means for Australia and indeed for the world. Also ahead... Russian troops intensified their attacks in the Donbass region in eastern Ukraine. Joe Biden holds talks in South Korea, promising to work to keep any threat from North Korea in check. Today, President Yoon and I committed to strengthening our close engagement and work together to take on challenges of regional security, including addressing the threat posed by the Democratic People's Republic of Korea. And an unprecedented spring wave hits, heat wave hits Spain as the country braces itself for record-breaking temperatures. Hello and welcome to BBC News. We begin in Australia, where it appears the Labour Party will form Australia's new government. Still not clear whether it will be a majority administration or a coalition with minor parties such as the Greens, who have done well. It means the end of the leadership of Scott Morrison and Anthony Albanese will be crowned Australia's Prime Minister. Let's go live now to Sydney and to our correspondent Shaima Khalil, who is at the opposition Labour event, where they are... Really fairly optimistic, Shaima.